let's get cooking. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Before we get started today, I just wanna let you know that as I'm putting this vlog up, right now, in this minute, my merch is officially live. I indeed just woke up and I'm wearing some right now. Please, 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 please go check it out if you guys are interested at shopromycruise.com. Thank you all so much for your patience and love and support on this merch. I am so, 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 so excited. I'm not kidding when I tell you the quality of the pieces are so good. I'm so proud of it. I feel like it's so truly me. It encompasses my personality and I can't wait for you guys to wear your own. So I love you, Mwah. It's linked down below, shopromycruise.com and let's roll the vlog. Hi vlog, hello, welcome to Las Vegas! Viva Woo! Las Vegas! Okay, I'm shooting on my old vlog camera, which is the G7X, which is why it's literally this close to my face. This was the main reason I hated this camera, was because it was just a little too close for comfort, but... We are in Vegas, and we are going to the Day in Vegas Festival today, and I wanna vlog the whole thing for you guys. I was about to leave the room, and I was like, wait, I need to vlog. So, we got in late last night. Yesterday's travel day was a mess for a one-hour flight. Got in, finally got to sleep at like 2 a.m. or so, and now we're going out. Hitting the town, getting some breakfast. We're very excited also. Kendrick Lamar is performing tonight. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm very well aware I'm probably gonna get copyrighted on this vlog because I'm going to vlog a lot of the concert. That is all right. Kendrick, I love you. Doja Cat, I love you. Worth it. Okay. Also, before we left, I slathered my face in this sunscreen, the Peter Thomas Roth Max Matte sunscreen. If you have oily skin, Cal and I love this stuff and we go through a bottle like once a month. It's amazing. First thing is first. Also, we're staying at the Cosmopolitan Hotel, which we've never stayed at before. Also, fun fact, Callie and I are obsessed with Vegas. <laughs> we love Vegas. But we'd stay at other hotels and then find ourselves coming to the Cosmo. So we figured, why not stay at the Cosmo? It's just like the best food is here. I'm obsessed with Momofuku and David Chang, and there's a restaurant here. Milk bars here. It's amazing. So the Cosmo has, and I think this is a sandwich shop. Yeah, hot sandwiches. They've got a fried chicken shop. They've got a hand roll bar, which is my favorite to go to. I always stop by at least like once or twice. They They've got a coffee shop, which is where we're going, hot chicken, and then egg slut. The line for egg slut starts there, goes all the way around. They have my favorite chili crunch ever, Momo Fuku chili crunch. It is life changing. It is so hot, and I forgot sunglasses, but we decided to not get coffee there because the line was so long, just as long as all the other lines. So we're just gonna go to Walgreens and hopefully find some coffee here because we also need to get like little snacks and things because we didn't bring much, but I did sneak out call over in my bag and they let it through, so I'm saving cha -ching. Also, we're right next to the Taco Bell Cantina. I am so excited to hit that up later. Wow, they've got so much stuff here. I love soap and glory. I forgot my moisturizer, so I'm gonna try and find one here. I'm thinking maybe like a CeraVe. <gasps> Oh my god, do you remember when Bioderma was like the biggest thing that ever exists? I loved, what was it called? Oh, the micellar water. Oh my god, I got that when I went to Europe. And it was so nice, I really liked it. Mist thing looks very nice. Hydrates, refreshes, and tones. It's huge, but it looks very refreshing. I think I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh my god, this Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath looks so fun. <laughs> Just realized Cal and I did not bring sunscreen and Cal burns like a motherfucker. So we're gonna get some. This one looks good. Also found the moisturizer I was looking for. I'm gonna try this one from CeraVe. Oh my God. <laughs> Pedialyte moisturizer. We didn't bring sunscreen, right? Oh. Wow. <laughs> you want spray? Oh uh, yeah. You okay. Can. That's so funny. I'm such a sucker for any lip balm, especially in like cute little containers. Kaylee loves Vaseline and this one's creme brulee. I'm gonna try. <laughs> All right, here are our coffee options. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I thought this was a peppermint frappuccino. It's just a regular vanilla with holiday packaging. Okay. Oh my god, they do monster coffee? That sounds scary. I think I'm gonna try, I can't decide if I need a triple shot. I don't I don't think I need a triple shot. We'll start slow today. <laughs> I am a lightly salted fan. I don't like a ton of salt personally, but then also I do like salt and vinegar. <laughs> I think, which ones did you get, regular? I got the regular, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get salt and vinegar. Oh, my mouth is watering thinking about them. Obviously need Chex Mix, I'm a Chex Mix girly. I do like the hot and spicy one or the bold, but if not, savory works. These are the best with a Subway sandwich. If you know, you know. Look at this, Margaritaville makes little packets now. Oh my God, look at all these. They have them everywhere, I love it. They used to be so hard to find. Front and center, baby. Okay, we came to the buffet and Cal and I love the Asian section. There's like a soy caramel glaze, duckling, I got a char siu bao, salt and pepper shrimp. They came out with mapo tofu 
in a Frito-Lay bag. Everybody's waiting for crab legs right now. We have the same taste in food. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Oh my gosh. Got a couple sushis and then Cal and I are sharing this giant plate of crab. It looks so good. Are you excited? So <laughs> we meant to get like Denny's breakfast, but they didn't have one, so uh, we got crab instead. <laughs> we are back from the buffet, and wow, you guys, we did really good jobs at it. The thing with buffets, they're so good, obviously, but it's so easy to overeat because everything is so delicious, and then you feel sick and groggy all day. So, Cal and I worked on eating very intuitively and stopping when we were actually full, and I'm feeling amazing. So, we are back in the room. As you can see, I look like Corella Deville. I'm putting dry shampoo in. This is my favorite dry shampoo I've ever tried. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I've already gone through like this much of the bottle. It is so good. Oh, I should probably buy more with the Sephora sale going on. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I'm going to currently get ready. I'm just going to curl my hair later because that's obviously gonna fall out the fastest, but I am going to just do my normal makeup routine and my makeup usually stays on pretty well and the way to get it to stay all day long is this product right here that has changed my life. Ah! This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I've made everybody in my life get this. I'm not even kidding. They sold out of the big ones, so I just bought the little travel ones, which are really great, obviously, for travel. But key to this, spray before and after your makeup and it will stay on all night long. Even when we came to Life is Beautiful, I was trying to make Mia get it and she was a little skeptical because I was saying some big claims. At the end of the festival, at the end of the night, she looks at my makeup and she goes, oh my God, you're right. It looks incredible. I don't know what is in this magic sauce, but I also overdo it because it's that good. I just put on some primer. This is my one size primer. Thank you so much. But I depotted it because I finished the like squeezy tube but I could feel a lot more product in there so we cut it open and put it in this little jar and I've been utilizing it and it is my favorite primer. I'm obsessed with it. It's nice because it's not like I love mattifying primers but sometimes they feel like a little like sticky on your skin like it feels tight. This keeps my skin nice and moisturized while also keeping my makeup on. Let's try this little Vaseline creme brulee lip therapy. Kaylee's obsessed with these little lip things. Oh, it smells so good. I just had a little creme brulee breakfast. Give him a snack haul, baby. We got Red Bull Sugar Free, the only snack anyone ever needs. Water mist. Oh, that's mine. Can I have it? We got Pringles, salt and vinegar. We got Pringles Original. Bam. Whoa. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, it's so cooling. We got Takis. We got Tex Mix. Oh, oh yeah. you only got the dark chocolate regular. No. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, there was dark chocolate peanut M&Ms. I think there, it was the bag right behind this one. Oh, and I just assumed shoot. you grabbed one of those. I found at TBS dark chocolate peanut M&Ms, which was like my dream come true because I love, love peanut M&Ms and I love dark chocolate and I've never seen them, but turns out I picked up the wrong one, but that's okay. I'll still eat those. And last but certainly not least, flavor blasted goldfish. He screamed when he saw them in the store. The rest of my makeup is pretty standard for what I normally do. I've been really into this foundation though lately it's the Dior backstage face and body foundation so because it's a face and body it's really lightweight and super thin my skin's been looking okay and I've just been putting like concealer onto any problem areas this is a little dark for me right now but honestly I just I make it work I don't really care but if you're looking for a nice lightweight I love it because you don't feel like you're wearing makeup so many foundations you f you can feel you're wearing makeup this feels really nice on the skin thank you if you need a water let me know I refrigerated half of them because I know you like them cold mm. is it good it's so good Viva Las Vegas. Hi guys. Okay, since we last talked to you, we went down to the casino, did some gambling, and then we came back up here and we napped, watched Netflix. I uploaded a TikTok of Cal and I reacting to the 10 minute version of All Too Well. I'm a little tipsy right now. And I spent like an hour editing it on my phone because I didn't bring my laptop. So I used iMovie on my phone, figured out how to use that, uploaded it, and then within five minutes, the song was ripped from the TikTok because of copyrighted audio. So I wasted all that time for no reason, but I just put on this lip gloss. It's from Tower 28. If you guys have never tried Tower 28, it's an Asian owned brand. Oh my God, camera makes me do the beauty guru thing. And this is in the shade Almond. It's very nice and I like it a lot. Okay, so outfits. Gonna be 60 degrees so like a little chilly so I'm wearing this long sleeve shirt but still you know it's cute it's got like little straps up here it's from White Fox and it's a fun orange color and then the jeans are my favorites from Good American just white little tennis shoes and we are just drinking in the room having some fun before we leave currently we are drinking Red Bull vodkas which actually look like 
urine. Sorry to say it. All right, we got our wristbands. We got our urine. You're in for a good time tonight, my friend. Sorry, we're honestly kind of boring. We don't really don't do much. We just watch TV and TikTok. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be fun we at the festival. Didn't do much today. We really didn't do much, but we had a nice chill day. We're gonna be night owls this trip. We're gonna party. I did hit up my favorite promoter, aka Vinny. I don't know if I've ever told the vlog this story. You know the story. My of Vinny. cousin Vinny. Your cousin anyone Vinny. Anyone know? Anyone know the movie reference? The Godfather. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> okay, let me tell you a quick story about Vinny. So, I was in my peak party phase when I had just turned 21, and I would come to Vegas like every other weekend or so. No joke, I was here three times in one month at one point, and that's when I knew I had a problem and I had to stop. Don't really remember a lot of that, but one specific time I went to the club and had a little too much to drink, and I woke up the next morning back at our Airbnb, and I looked at my phone, and I had this green text message that was like, hey, thanks for coming, blah, blah, hit me up. If you ever wanted da, da, da. So I thought that it was and you know when you get like automated text messages from like spam people or like I don't know like the local I don't know like shoe store hits you up about a deal going on. I don't know. And then you it says like to unsubscribe reply stop in all caps and you will no longer receive text messages. So I got the text and I was like oh my gosh this is weird. Who is this from? So I just replied stop in all caps sent back a green message and then the guy hit me up again and was like hey Remy oh my god so sorry is everything okay like we had such a nice meeting last night turns out he was a club promoter that I had met outside the club his name is Vinny and he is so nice and he was so sweet quickly I apologized obviously and he totally understood that I didn't remember he's like it's Vegas it happens so uh, now we're buds and no joke for my 22nd birthday when I came back to Vegas this was years ago obviously I hit Vinny up Vinny met me at the club and he bought me shots at the club and it was so fun and he's so sweet. A few years later Alicia and I went to the Billboard Music Awards and we were watching the show. BTS was there. Who else was there? Justin Bieber. I think Harry Styles. There were like a lot of people there. It was like the coolest thing ever but we had to leave early because we had to get our flight back home and we had to like leave the show halfway through. So we left and we're like walking down the Vegas Strip in our heels and our dresses. We walk back into the hotel and we're walking through the casino and I see this guy and it was like the Spider-Man meme and he's like pointing at me and I'm pointing at him and he's like he was giving out flyers for like Vegas promoter stuff and I was like Vinny and he was like Remy and now we're besties so we're gonna see we might hit it up tonight Vinny if you're watching this love you so much I forgot to mention so we brought big suitcases we like packed actual bags and I looked it up online so when you get to Vegas they upcharge on like all the alcohol and everything and we obviously have the Tito's wall and that's obviously all I'm gonna actually drink so my Asian glow is showing up I can feel it oh look at that look at that so I looked it up online and you can bring sealed alcohol bottles so I just packed a couple of the Tito's in a plastic bag and brought it here and I was able to travel and everything was fine. So that's why we have drinks in the room and I don't have to pay like $40 for this like $15 bottle. I bet you a shot in that mini bar oh, is look. like 20 let's bucks. Look. Where's the prices? Even at CVS and stuff, they upcharge so much for stuff here. Mini liquor, $11. Gray Goose, 12 For large. a little bottle, $11. That's not even a fifth, $47. Wow, see I said 40 bucks. Yeah, that's like half, that's half a fifth. Half of this bottle is 50 bucks. Make sure to wrap it in a plastic bag though if you're gonna travel with it. Will I upload any of these clips? We will see. We will see. She's drunk. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little drunk, but we made it to the festival. I immediately had to pee. I ran in, let it out, freed myself. I'm so pale. You really are. Jesus Christ. But we made it to Ari Lennox, and we're waiting in line for burgers and lemonade. Not to be confused with brownies and lemonade. Everything is already pre-made, sitting under a heat lamp, which normally, you know, isn't the most delicious. But right now, I will say, because I'm so hungry, that means instant gratification and they serve the fries oh I wasn't even looking at the camera I'm sorry I'm pretty drunk I'm back <laughs> okay I just met the sweetest subscriber her name is Mari she's 20 and turns 21 tomorrow and I love when I meet you guys at festivals and I can buy you drinks obviously or if I meet you anywhere and there's alcohol I can buy you a drink but obviously I can't so I told Mari if I see her tomorrow I will buy her a drink but for now I'm waiting I got some lemonade look at this cheese oh my god we got fries, we got a cheeseburger. Oh, you know what I realized? I forgot to get ketchup and stuff. I'll have to go back. Also, Cal is at the bar to get vodka shots to then put into our lemonade, sitting in the middle of the grass area. And I didn't realize, but the same company that puts on Coachella puts on this festival. I've never been to this festival before, but it's really nice and super spread out, which is great. And also, it's like all the same 
like materials and like setups that they use for Coachella. So like the same gates over there are what they use to like put up the gates at Coachella. The same like entrance signs and stuff, which I think is so funny. Okay, I've talked too much. I love you. Y'all having a good time? Stay here, y'all. If we hop in the bands, is that okay? Hey, is it okay if I call you my brother? I need a nap. I'm so tired. I'm not made for this. No body on the I get into the bloody bottoms on the D. You guys. I am not young like I used to be. I literally fell asleep on Cal in between Roddy Rich and Kendrick Lamar who will be on any minute. I just had to take a quick potty break. I'm up and I'm ready, but I am still so tired. This is so embarrassing. But I met the sweetest couple who I, I like, saw the sweetest couple who I met at the Melrose Training Post and I bought their cute little like dresses and shirts and they're so sweet. I wore it to Life is Beautiful and then as I was going to the bathroom, they stopped me and I was like, oh my God, hi. Now I have to find Cal because I don't know where he went. I cannot believe I fell asleep. It's so embarrassing. ADHD. How do you feel? I'm feeling pretty good, I'm yeah. feeling good. We're getting sushi hand rolls right now, which is exciting. Also, it's like 11 or so. We slept in pretty late. So this hotel has a, it's kind of like a kazunori, but this is called Tekka Bar. And you can do hand rolls, fresh hand rolls, and then they have nitro matcha on tap. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I already got my salmon. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. It came out on tap. It looks like beer. It's just tea. I'm revived. Okay guys, it is much later. So uh, I saw you with sushi this morning. We came back to the room and took a fat nap and then we gambled in the casino and I am getting so good at blackjack. We are up some money. Woo! Yeah. We're up, we're up. Oh wait, no, I'm still down. You're down. I'm but up, I was up I'm for up a today. second. Okay. I'm up today. Yesterday I was down a lot, but today I'm up. He's up. We're having a great time. Alicia told me to pull out some money on the PB card and bet a little money for her, and then we'll talk about it on the pod. So I'm pretty excited because I get to play more because I love playing the games. So we came back to the room and we are dressed for day two. We only really want to see Doja Cat today because all the other people performing after we've seen before multiple times. And getting home last night was so bad. I've never seen any festival have a worse like rideshare taxi pickup system before we had to walk around for like an hour or so just trying to find service to get a car to pick us up or couldn't find a taxi it was so 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 bad so tonight we're leaving earlier to ensure that we can get a car back and you know not have any issues because it's pretty far from the hotel it's like a 30 minute drive or so with traffic and everything this is my outfit for the night i'm wearing this little top that i got from urban outfitters that's really comfortable super stretchy it's like a silky chiffon like orchid color with a cute little like boning here but it's really stretchy same jeans because these are the only pants that i really brought but they're very comfortable and easy to dance in and obviously we're dancing to doge cat so we've already been pre-gaming a bit we are going to continue we're going to play some heads up while we're here and i got to charge this battery and then we can dance at doge cat woo, woo, woo. are you excited callie mm -hmm. cal's excited we're eating our pringles we've already smashed a can and now we're on the salt and vin these are so good winner so so good Connor. i think this is the first time in our relationship we're playing um i was gonna say connect four Headband? Heads up. <laughs> As you can see, I don't play very often. She's drunk. No, no, I'm really not. I just don't play very often. But I thought this would be funny to show because Cal's really good at giving hints and I'm really bad at giving hints. But therefore, he is losing. So is I'm it just strategy? <laughs> okay. Uh Oh, when you get your period, you're learning about period, you're learning about sex. For little kids, I learned about it in the fifth grade. I learned about it in Girl Scouts. You know, animals that fly and then insects that like honey. I got nothing. What the fuck? Um, a, a bubbly alcohol. Champagne? Yes. See, it's not my fault. He's really slow. It's a song about infants having, um, spines. <laughs> Baby got back! Oh. <laughs> I can see the Empire State Building from here. Just kidding. That's the New York, New York Hotel. Okay, guys. We are on the move. We're going to the festival now. It is currently, it's pitch black outside again. 6, 10 p.m. Cal and I have talked about this multiple times. I think Doja's gonna be nominated for at least 
at least one Grammy for her new album because it's so good. Planet Her was amazing. All right, we got our roadie and we're ready to go. <laughs> Doja just said she's drunk and I'm dying. Men ain't shit. <laughs> Men ain't shit. Men ain't shit. Think? <laughs> We just met the sweetest subscriber who literally said that she was gonna sell her ticket and then came because she found out that we were going when I talked about it on PB. Ah, her name was Christina, she was so nice. But after that performance, how do you feel? I'm seeing Doja Cat for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> she's so hot. She's so talented. Such a good dancer. Well, she's a professional dancer, so it makes sense. But like the rock elements of the performance, everything. Incredible. So it, good. It was so much fun. I think that was one of the best performances I've ever seen in my life, and I mean that. It's up there. It's up there. I hate that you're so tall because we gotta go like this. <laughs> yeah. I have to, well, I mean, I have to hunch down, down so far. You okay. See, look at my fucking body posture right now. It's fucking body posture. That's what I look like. Peace. Bye. Cal and I are having a beautiful, intimate dinner together at this place called China Poblano in the hotel, which is both a Chinese and Mexican fusion restaurant. Also, we had a wonderful time getting a car out, thank God. I think we walked the wrong way last night. Is it good? So good. I'm gonna try the guac with the chip. Dude, I love it. Season, the, the cotilla cheese on top looks fantastic. This is the most incredible tortilla chip I've ever eaten in my life. All right, guys. Cal is feeling extra lucky. He won. He won so much money at roulette. I, on the other hand, there we go, <laughs> lost money. And I'm not uh, feeling no. so lucky, but I'm about to feel satisfied because we're going to the Taco Bell Cantina. Ah! If you don't know what the Taco Bell Cantina is, it's basically a Taco Bell that serves alcohol, but I'm I'm not gonna drink anymore because I'm tired. <laughs> but you can get Taco Bell there at all Can't hours get of the day. Taco Bell. And we're gonna go see. I'm actually not really feeling Taco Bell. I might get the Subway sandwich because that's next door. And fun fact about me, I love a Subway sandwich. And I literally just get vegetables and mayo on it. It's so good. What are you getting, baby? I am getting a cheesy gordita crunch. Ooh. And a quesadilla. That sounds bomb as fuck. Cal decided on Subway. Subway, two Subway loving ladies. All I got was bread and cheese. Muy delicioso. We got our Subway. We're laying in bed. I took my makeup off, put on my PJs as soon as we got in. And now we're gonna watch Spy Kids. Oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned this. The hotel literally didn't have any rooms with one bed, so we got one with two beds. And uh, we've been sleeping. We were gonna sleep in the same one, and then once we first lay down, we were like, you know what? Let's sleep in separate beds. <laughs> Honestly, it's great. We get to like really sprawl out. Time to eat my sandwich. Goodbye. It's the next morning. Last night was a little rough for me, but Cal took care of me. And now we're eating, what is this? Shrimp, shrimp and lobster tempura with like a honey walnut sauce. It's so good. We're splitting a ramen. We got some spicy cucumbers. Reviving myself with some iced tea. Delicious. So most of this vlog has just been eating and we did go back to the room. I did take another nap and then now we're back to eating again. So we came down to the food hall and we've never tried the hot chicken that's here and it looks amazing and I got so many sides and I love sauces. We got ranch. We got honey mustard. Might I add maybe two of the best condiments to exist. We also got their comeback sauce which is like a spicy mayo apparently. We got chicken tennies to share, mac and cheese, crinkle fries, potato salad which is personally my favorite. And then I also got some ketchup. Red skin potato salad. Oh. Mm. In the comeback sauce. I didn't try the chicken tender on camera. I got mild and he got hot. I think this is mild, right? It looks really Yes, that's right? definitely mild. I'm gonna try it. Ooh, oh my God, look at the juice. Honey mustard. Oh my God. It's so juicy. Juiciness? Not really. Nah, not uh, really. Uh, uh, oh, it's not focusing on it. Whatever, it's good. Mm. My fellow Swifties, rah! Right. Cal and I are currently drinking in the room and Cal just said to me because actually a lovely TikTok comment Let me know Cal still follows Jake Gyllenhaal on Instagram Thank you everybody for putting in the work and letting me know because I was unaware so spooky. I did. spooky. <laughs> Obviously I was unaware of the traitor in the room. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> we're playing heads up again He told me if I get 10 in one round. What will you do? 
I'll block Jake Gyllenhaal. I didn't ask for this. I'll block him. I just want everyone to know, he randomly said this to me, so we're, we're gonna do this. Well, you keep wanting me to unfollow him, so I'm like, all right, So well, least you can do, Cal. <laughs> okay, 10. You have to do 10. Oh my God. Uh, it's phone network. What? Verizon. Yes. Um, search engine. Google. Yes. Oh, video calling. Video calling? Yeah. Uh, FaceTime? No, original video call. Oh, sp Skype. Yes. Oh, man, you're not gonna lose. Um, really overpriced clothing store that went bankrupt. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Milano cookies. Pepper's Farms? Yes. Oh, you put them in your mouth and they go, like it cracks. Oh, Pop Rocks. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, Meta. Meta? Facebook? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> car company, really nice cars, like super nice, like black. Rolls big, Royce? Big cars. No. Lexus? Um, they make Cadillac? Like, no. Abraham. Lincoln. Yes. Oh, mouthwash. Scope? It's like water. Or maybe a two-face shoe. No. Uh, Crest? Um, like... 3D White? Uh, uh... List, it's not Listerine either. It's Coral... It's Oral-B? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Glow Fresh! That wasn't 10, was it? That didn't feel like 10? It was 7. seven. Oh, don't fuck. worry, guys. I'll be here all night. But I will say, Cal got Juicy Couture. I had it on my hand. He had to explain to me. Couture. He was saying, <laughs> he was like, I don't know. He thought it was Juicy Couture. I said, no, it's Juicy Couture. <laughs> okay. Juicy Couture. <laughs> what is it? Just tell me. What? Juicy Couture. Couture? What? <laughs> It's pronounced cooter? That's even worse. It's juicy couture. Couture? Wait, is it couture? It's juicy couture. I'm crying. Why would I expect it to be cooter? Cooter. Ooh, spooky. I'm gonna get ten guys, don't worry. He's gonna he's gonna block Jake Joan home. We're walking around this trip. We're by the Bellagio. Look how beautiful it is. We're walking to Caesar's Palace because Cal and I always, always, always want to walk. Well, actually, Cal always really wants to go there. Oh, and we, we try know? to go over there, and then on the way we get stopped by like different hotels and just get distracted. But tonight we are beelining to Caesar's Palace. Have you ever been to Caesar's Palace? Never. Oh, okay. All right, Cal experienced Caesar's Palace. Uh, stuffy, hot, and the blackjack electronic like machines. She was ripping they, me off. They literally show you the history of like the dealer's hands, and it was all like 17, 20, 20, 20. And I'm like, okay. Luckily, though, Cal told me to pull out, which I did. It yeah. was beautiful, though. It's a really pretty hotel. It's beautiful, but they will rip you off. <laughs> Very much so. So we got our drinks to go, and we are walking. We are walking. I think we're going to officially go to the Taco Bell Cantina tonight, which is very exciting but now we're gonna walk back to where we're staying and on the way there's another hotel and I think we're gonna check that one out I think so twirl for me Callie twirl for me give me a run in a twirl okay there we go twirl there we go so beautiful in Par you. are you happy to be in Thank Paris you. I'm so happy we oui, oui. Francais baguette baguette Wee oui, wee! Oui. All right, we're walking through the uh, what hotel is this again? Bellagio. Bellagio. The Bellagio halls, Cali. Pose like the mannequin. Both hands, baby. Oh. There we go. There we go. Thank you. I'm not as good as that. No, you are so good. No. <laughs> there it is. Get pop the booty. Pop the booty out. Ooh. You in case you were wondering, we forgot the crystal lights in the room, so she I'm drinking. Thank you, Cal. Yes. This is a, I think it's called a Greyhound, which is vodka and grapefruit juice, which if you usually yak from sugary drinks, i.e. me, this is the way to go. If you forget your crystal lights. Oh my God, okay. There are people working, so I feel like I shouldn't vlog, but uh, we are in the casino and I am feeling like I'm gonna win. And I always go for the most sparkly, machine and uh that one right there is definitely calling my name with all the flashy bright lights callie and i are playing blackjack everybody with this computer okay i'm putting you away before i get in trouble bye hi vlog hello it's midnight we just went to the bellagio and now we're going to where callie taco bell cantina taco bell cantina and you bet your bottom dollar i'm getting a cheesy gordita crunch with potatoes instead of meat all right they've got alcohol and drinks up there 
and you come here and you order. Okay, Cal's getting an alcoholic drink. What are you gonna get? Tequila for sure. There's really cool artwork, and then someone is literally having, I think, wedding reception maybe? Reserved for the happy couple and their friends and family. Okay, it's super dark in here, but I got a cheese quesadilla, a water, of course, and then I believe this is my cheesy gordita crunch with potatoes, which the last time I literally had a cheesy gordita crunch, I think was actually in Vegas. And I get the potatoes instead of the meat. It's so good. Taco Bell was stellar. Came over to Walgreens to get ice cream on the way back to the hotel. Here's our pickings. Ooh, we got a haagen -Dazs. I mean, you know how I feel about a Twix. I've never tried this Twix ice cream bar. They've got the delicious Nestle to House sandwich cookie thingies. I think that's only my picks for like the singles because I'm not getting a whole pint of ice cream. Maybe some ground beef if I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> Do you want anything, baby? I want some frozen ground beef. Yes. I'm going to get the Twix ice cream because I always go for anything Twixy. Here we go. Flips. Milk chocolate, white fudge. Drunky over there is walking around. Ooh, cozy socks could be nice. Ooh, everything looks so good. Oh, I love a Werther's original. What? What's up, baby? There's like nothing here. I know, it's all, it's all gone. Okay, where are these peanut M&Ms? Because I know I saw them. Okay, okay I grabbed, oh, oh. Dark hot chocolate caramel. No, yeah. no, this is dark chocolate peanut, yeah. damn it. Fun fact, I love cookies and cream, and as we all know, I love Twix. But the cookies and cream Twix just don't hit like the originals do, if you're ever wondering. I much prefer these beauties right here. Paul, sir, what are you getting? Flips. Flips. You know how it is. You know you know about these. We're literally gonna go back and go to bed now, but I'm still getting them for home. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's kind of crazy and chaotic, but it was really fun. Don't forget my merch is out. You guys can shop it at shopremycruise.com. Link down below. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.